What's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I want to be talking about MES and kind of a little bit of vlog about teamwork and all these things. But before I start, I want to say I'm sorry for being very inactive recently. I haven't posted a video in about four days. I posted before that about three Black Ops 3 videos. And I don't know. I wouldn't say I lost my drive. You know, YouTube's definitely something I love doing. I consider it a hobby, but you know, recently I just I don't I don't have much, I guess, a motivation to do it just because I keep losing subscribers on a daily. And I feel like I've just been very lazy with it, but you know, that's not gonna stop me. A lot of you guys know how I am, so I'm gonna continue pushing it. You know, I have some good video ideas and hopefully I can get them out soon. So obviously a lot of the teams are missing. For example, FaZe, Optic, Envy was missing their fourth. They were using Merc, but honestly, Merc's a pretty good player, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but they're obviously used to a different fourth, aka Aqua. And then Denial was missing also, but pretty much every other team, except for like Orbit, pretty much every other team went, and except for TCM. But, you know, there was a lot of competition. Probably going into that event, you know, I thought Elevate was the most prepared. I thought they were probably the best team going in there because next to us. So, I knew it was going to be some pretty big comp. The first time we played them, they 3-0'd us. Uh, yeah, we pretty much got smashed. The only map I would consider close was the first map. Other than that, you know, we got railed. Then we replayed them again in Grand Finals. We won first map, insanely clutch. s and we lost 6-4. It was the same s and we played them earlier and they raped us, but we managed to get a couple more rounds in. We choked pretty bad, you know, we choked about three 1v1s and it could have gone either way. If we would have took that SD, I I pretty much guarantee we would have took the series. Unfortunately, we did it. And then the comeback, I believe it was comeback uplink, you know, we just choked. Uh, they had good side first, they managed to get a four point lead and then we couldn't just, we barely got any points on our good side. They just kept holding it down. They did a very good job of that. Either way guys, we got second at that event. Obviously it's nothing too special, but I am very happy with that just because we got a good amount of practice. Land practice is always the best, right? You, when you lose, you know mainly why you lost. You know what you're doing wrong. You know, there's no there's no host or we lost because of host or we won because we're host or you know, they just have shitty connections. You know, it's very, very solid good practice. So going after, you know, this event, going to DC, we knew like we know that what we have to work on. We know what were our mistakes were. You know, we obviously don't know everything yet, but we know we have to work on a couple things and that's exactly what we will be doing. And for the people who are wondering why I'm wearing a hat is because, I don't know, I'm just not thinking my hair right now. It's getting pretty long, it's messy. I do have to get a fresh cut before DC. But, so as I was going on, you know, practice is very important, uh, you know, I think the best and most important thing is constructive criticism. If any team I've been on, it always worked out. For example, when I was with Doug and FaZe, you know, he always told my team, you know, what we did wrong, what we were doing wrong. And even though it could be kind of frustrating because you would come off like a dick sometimes or it can be pretty annoying sometimes, you know, it's the right thing to do. You know, you don't want to get complacent. You don't want to have someone just be like, oh, we're fine. You know, you're doing perfect. You know, you're doing a good job, honey. Just keep going. No, you need someone to tell you straight up, look, hey, you're doing this wrong. Hey, you need to communicate more. Hey, you there. You need to start getting in the damn hills and stop being a damn kill, kill whore. You know, somebody needs to say that because if it's not going to be you, if it's not going to be, if I'm never going to find out myself, then how are we going to prove as a team? How are we going to get better? And obviously, you know, Rise, we're sticking 100% at least until the playoffs. There's no changing that, you know, there's no roster changes going to be made. You know, this is 100% our team, so why not give it 150%? Why not try to make the best of it? We have two events with the squad coming up, 100%, so we got to work our asses off. I want to win more than anything. A lot of you guys know, a lot of my teams share the same passion. So we are fixing our mistakes. We have constructive criticism going on every single day. You know, I know I have a little bit of problems sometimes maybe communicating and sometimes maybe not slowing down or something, you know. But I think overall I've improved a lot. You know, I've took the, crit the criticism from all my teammates from the past. And I've really learned, you know, not to be stubborn. Be like, you know what, you're right. I need to improve my communication. Hey, you're right. You know, I need to slow down with my teammates. And, and, and I constantly keep doing this. And that's how I've been improving a lot lately. You know, I'm, I'm starting to be a really good player. My SD game has improved a shitload. And that's not only from my teammates. That's obviously a lot from me watching and from me playing. I've been playing like wagers and stuff like that, which helped me, you know, when it comes to clutching, all this stuff. I've been playing my situational a little bit better. My situation is a little better. So yeah, guys, make sure to, if you want to improve, man, you can't, you, it's okay to not come off a dick sometimes, like even Parasite does it sometimes, but you know, you, you have to say something, right? If you guys just lose and you walk away, you're like, oh, let's let's go, man. It's over, you know, we, we, we it's okay. We'll, we'll get them next time. You're never going to improve like that. The, the chances of you uh, having the same situation, losing the same way is going to happen again. But if you, you know, when we lose a rise, uh, usually I always sit in the call, like when we lose a tournament, when we lose a league match, I always sit in the call with them for about 15, 20 more minutes. And even though at the same time, I just, like, just want to leave after this, after I say this thing, you know, I stay there and I talk with them and they'll, you know, we talk and we go very in depth what went wrong. 
and we say, look, hey, you need to do this better next time. I need to do this better next time. Uh, you know, we did lose because we didn't slay on this map and all these things. And that, that's where it really clicks and that's where we, we learn how to improve as a team. And that's something every team should be doing. You know, if you really want to win, if you really want to get better, you got to put in the time. And other than putting in the time, man, you just got to stop being stubborn and actually learn that, you know, like you got to notice that you're not perfect. Nobody is. And you have something to work on, then work on it. And that way you get better individually. Either way, guys, sorry for the rant. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'm out. Apathy's out. I'm out of her. Peace.